Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Remember to like my videos and to share my videos. That is very positive for me and for you. Okay, but I want to talk about Will and Jada and their past entanglements and how she just keep putting their relationship on front street i mean what is going on with jada what is will doing to her or what is she doing to herself oh she just keep coming up with stuff she keep talking about their marriage now she's talking about their love life or their lack of oh child will just can't catch a break but hey they seem to have an open relationship especially with that entanglement coming out with august akasina or Alcina or whatever name is and he was trying to tell the world and we're going to shout out the shade room because this is basically where i got my commentary from they did an article uh christina calloway was the journalist for this particular article that she titled jada pickett smith explains why it's hard to maintain a healthy bedroom life with husband will smith and i'm like lord that's a beautiful woman but yet she seems to be in such turmoil because y'all remember her when she had a rock band she had a band thinking she could sing and she wanted to try out that type of environment for a while before she went back and closed up from the world and then came out with the red table talk but she wanted to talk about everybody's business her business her family business just everything you know what i'm saying even down to a kid's business whether willow is you know gay or straight or she's fluent meaning she goes both ways then you got will kissing his son or uh, Jaden in the mouth. I like now. Did you ever kiss Trey in the mouth? Oh, it's just so much from what they've done to those kids. They the epitome and poster child for Hollywood being living in Hollywood. Okay, because at one time, do y'all remember when uh, Jaden wanted to uh, uh, emancipate himself from his parents at the age of sixteen or seventeen? I believe it was. Yeah, it could have been fifteen. I don't know. But he wanted to do that. So it's like, and then he went to this thing where he was just getting so thin, he was starving himself, or just being on a, a protein type diet and wasn't getting any other nutrients. Man, looked like a vampire. But anyway, that's Big Willie, that's what they call him. And he just seemed so unhappy. But that's most of the things when you go to Hollywood and you sign all these contracts and just sign your life away or whatever, you tend to have it all. Put yourself in a fishbowl type of living and you're not happy. You can't even go grocery shopping without people wanting to get into your space and, you know, be able to just talk with one of their celebrities or their admirers. You can't do it. So I'm like, is fame and fortune worth being able to go out and not be able to do the simple things that everybody do on a normal basis, <coughs> which is interacting with their environment? through shopping, through going through events, and not being pulverized by a lot of people screaming your name or wanting an autograph or wanting a um, photo op with you. I mean, is it worth it? Is it worth it? But again, none of this is my business, but as quiet as it's being kept, I think I need to shout it out to the world, okay? And let people understand these things so we can have empathy or no empathy okay it's just the caution tale that when you say you want something like fame fortune wealth power greed you're gonna have to accept the downfall because it's just like a slippery slope but let's get on into this article she wrote jada pickett smith has been an open book when it comes to her life and relationships specifically her marriage to husband will smith via her show red table talk and i'm like man the color red gets you in trouble every time because it does put a target on your back and you be spotlighted whether you're dressing in all red whether you drive a red car whether your front door or uh, to your home is red it's just like you're calling attention to yourself when you wear the color red okay i'm just saying 
Uh, back to the article, it says Wednesday's episode featuring Gwyneth Paltrow was no different as the women discussed the challenges of maintaining a good sex life as well as communication personal needs to your partner or communicating personal needs to your partner. It's hard, Jada said. The thing Will and I take or we talk about a lot is the journey. We started in this at a very young age, you know, 22 years old. That's why the accountability part really hit for me because I think you expect, excuse me, your partner to know what you need, especially when it comes to sex. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. If you love me, you should read my mind. That's a huge pitfall. And I'm like, yeah, because anybody would tell you, you have to tell what you want. Even when you're doing it by yourself, if you want an experience to happen, you got to believe in it. You got to develop your skills and then you have to go out there and make it happen. Right? Okay. But if you're on a spiritual um, plan, you already need to be ready so you don't have to get ready so when the lord take you to that next level you've already prepared yourself mentally physically and emotionally so it's called get ready prepare like you've already had it okay that's just a gem i dropped on y'all but uh going back to the article it said, um, Jada, who has been married to Will for 23 years, agreed with Gwyneth when she said a person can feel crushed when their partner isn't able to understand what's inside your head. Well, that reason being, meaning being crushed, if you don't tell a person that you're involved with intimately what you like, what you desire, or y'all don't play, like foreplay, and tell the don't spots to the, ooh, yeah, I like that spot. If you don't play those parts, how would your significant other know what you like or what you don't like? I mean, hell, you can go look at porn movies and see what y'all can get out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's something y'all are willing to try. Uh, you could talk about it. It's called exploring your own bodies at your own time and not expecting too much or too little. Just see what gauges well with each other. That's my philosophy. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, You tell me what you need, tell me what you want, and on top of it, I know that I have to be accountable to do the same. I really try. It's uncomfortable, but it's deeply healthy, and I think around sex because it's something that we don't talk about, and there's so much fantasy around it, Jada said. And when I read that, I was like, Jada, are you kidding me? Y'all been together since y'all been 22 years old. If y'all hadn't explored every part of each other's bodies by now, then y'all need to just hang it up, just be platonic with each other, and I don't know, because it seems like y'all have an open relationship, and I'm not going to tell you to sin and pretty much go out your marriage and find your thrill with someone else because if you can't do it y'all gotta commit adultery on each other just end it you know what i'm saying just end it but that's just my take on it uh it goes back to the article we all know that will and Jaden's marriage has been anything but traditional in july 2020 while sitting at that same red table jada revealed that she and will had temporarily temporarily separated a few years back and confirmed her affair with august alicino now just a sidebar um you didn't confirm it uh august alicino uh, did the confirming you were trying to say it was just an innocent mistake on words and then you brought this fabulous word called entanglement and a lot of people layman's people meaning everyday folk tried to run with it and try to incorporate it in their lives and it wasn't gonna work it didn't fly okay they end up probably getting a divorce ending a relationship that was meaningful to one of them at least or, you know, other things could have transpired. So, what you and Will did was just for you and Will. But, with her casually saying that it really wasn't anything, you know, you were helping him out. No, you were emotionally tearing August Alicina up. And he had to break away from you. Because he knew at that point you were not healthy for him anymore. Okay? Uh, but anyway... 
August Alessino, who had publicly blasted their hidden relationship. Yes, he brought it on Front Street, why Front Street, while um, Jada was trying to keep it under the hush hush, under wraps, out of the way of the public eye. No, I got. Alicina got upset. He felt like he was being played like a fool. So he spoke it out real loud for the public people to hear and to see how Jada really does get down and what Will really does accept in the relationship. Okay. But going back to the article, it says, um, then in September, interview with GQ magazine, Will shared that he had also engaged in other sexual relationships yeah big willie was trying to keep things on a hush hush but he's being caught out there here and there uh by the paparazzi because they show sure had him being lovey dovey up with other actresses that he was filming with on some of his shows okay but anyway jada never believed in conventional marriage Will told GQ, Jada had family members that had unconventional relationships, so she grew up in a way that was very different than how I grew up. Now, Will, I was like, okay, you can play on words. You could say she was in this type of environment, and that's what she learned to adapt her life into, and you were uh, brought up in a strict religious type relationship of a, a family unit, and this is what y'all believed in, and you believed in it at that time, because it's all you knew, okay, well, you can play games, whatever, but once you got out your house of your mother and father, and you got your own crib, and you start living your own life, then you were investing in your own set of rules and values, and morals you were going to you know be living by so you can't blame it on the mother the father the upbringing you have to take accountability of what you put yourself into once you leave your parents house okay well so we're not going to let you slide on that one either uh then it goes on to say uh, there were significant endless discussions about what is rational perfection what is the perfect way to interact as a couple? And for the large part of our relationship, monogamy monogamy was what we chose. Not thinking of monogamy or monogamy as the only relationship perfection. Well, to tell you the truth, when you're dealing with two people in a relationship, there's nothing going to be perfect about it. Because you can only control yourself. You can't control your, your partner's uh, feelings, emotions, and their actions. They have to take a, accountability of that solely themselves. So, for a person that seemed like they had it really all together, really didn't have it all together. And now it seems like Jada's just crumbling before our eyes. So, to me, it seems like she just need to cut this red table talk out fold it up put it in a nice package and slide it in the closet somewhere put it in the incinerator because she's not healthy mentally that's my take on it she's doing too much for the public to partake in when the public don't need to have that type of information okay that's just my viewpoint that's just my opinion and i don't know why will is definitely who knows what he's doing these days pretty much because i don't know he can he just seems like he keep coming back to the same thing which is jada's not happy jada's acting up in the public eye on her public forum of a platform to discuss things that should be kept quiet about their relationship their personal relationship and i don't know how much more he can pretty much take of it or find or put the persona out there for the public to digest that he's okay with it and he understands what jada is doing like she's purifying herself in some way or she cleansing or purging her thoughts her minds her feelings where you know most people like myself she wish she was with a thug is what it really is but she don't want to leave what her and will or i should say will have definitely put in the relationship because i think he has more money than she has acquired but i could be wrong uh, about that but i don't know if it's a play on 
uh, I'm not going to let you go because I know I probably couldn't face the world without you. But let's just keep seeing other people. And I'll try to keep my mouth shut. Seems like she's trying to throw that down Will's mouth and brain. But it's not going to work, Will. Because it seems like she may want to entrap you to you going out there and you're fooling around saying she gave you permission. Then it might be a situation where she just like, I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you to do all of that, but you did it anyway, so I want more than half. I want, uh, to just leave you a third of what you're worth. And I'm like, that's so bad, Jada. That's so bad. Because you can't say that you're doing it for the kids. You know, the kids are grown. Kids know about relationships because I'm sure they've been in them before. And they can become complicated if you make them that way. Okay? And then they can be pretty much cut and dry that you feel you have to get out of the relationship you know whether you're married or whether you're just you know cohabitating or you're just girlfriend and boyfriend and i think jada is just going through a weird period that she can't seem to get out of because like most people are thinking she really wanted to pop but i'm like girl that ship has gone and sailed into the abyss somewhere because it's not to be said. Because things do happen. And what they, the general public wants us to see as the truth may not be the truth. Because, hey, a lot of people say Tupac ain't dead. But it ain't like Jada can go be with Tupac. Because she like to be seen. And if there was some conspiracy theory around Biggie and Tupac's death and they really aren't dead, just living on another continent or whatever, or may have changed their facial looks or whatnot, um, then she is not the one that would be the one that be would be going out to find that Tupac look alike or maybe the real one because she couldn't keep her mouth shut she can't seem to keep her mouth shut about her comings and goings in the bedroom of will smith or her fooling around on will smith um with august because we never would have known unless august told us about it because she sure wasn't telling us about it and i'm sure will knew about it he was just hoping it wouldn't come out but it did, and he, didn't, he had to come to the public eye and let it be known. Yeah, I knew something about it, but I know all of this, and he tried to save face. Now, he's coming out with some of his stories of his unfaithfulness, his infidelities. And I'm like, are oh, both of y'all just purging y'all selves to hopefully um, make y'all selves feel better? For the actions that y'all both took amongst each other. And violated y'all vows. And y'all marriage entity. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, she just seems so unhappy. And I feel bad for her. Because her mom is right there. Living and breathing right by her. And she gets on this show with Jada. And tries to spill the tea. As well. And you see your child up there. You know, making a fool out of herself in a sense, and you do nothing. So that's again a telltale sign of how Holly Weird gets their people to act and how they continue to act and birth out children that can possibly be as messed up in the head as they are because they're not doing anything to change the pattern. But yeah, I'll get down in those comments and let me know what y'all think about Will and Jada and how we uh Will is is taking what's being thrown at him because he even said he always thought about committing suicide at one time. I'm like, Big Willie? Willie? Hmm. That's deep. But that's just what he has going on in his biography. He's writing on himself or something, some book he got coming out and it's supposed to um, give us those um, insights of what he really felt like ending his life because of what he was going through and things he were um, being a part of that he didn't really care to be doing and all that stuff. So I don't know. Sometimes you, I can have empathy for a person, but I'm like, for you to be well-rounded, intelligent, 
and have a wealth of resources under your belt, why do you keep making stupid mistakes that it seems like a person of your caliber shouldn't be making? You know? I'm like, is that an unfair assessment? Because I really just don't understand why people... Or maybe it's more so that they... And that's plausible where we can look at other people's lives and we can fix it and give the best advice. But when it comes to our lives and what's going on, we are handicapped or we feel like it's just too complex. It's not just white and black. It's grays. You know, you know, we just make up more excuses to, than actually dealing with it as if it wasn't our plight. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <sighs> hopefully she'll get it together, y'all. Hopefully he'll get it together. And if they don't belong together anymore, seen as husband and wife and just friends, but they're living separate lives and they're not living in, in you know, the same area or environment or place, it might be a good thing, you know. But then again, I just heard they bought another mansion somewhere in Hollywood. So, I don't know. I don't know the games these rich and famous people play. Try to get sympathy. But that's all I have for this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it, want to have more, continue to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload and drop a video for you to partake of. Or you can definitely share my videos and like my videos okay and if you inclined to do so you can definitely you know it's always open i don't have to tell y'all every video you can definitely subscribe to my channel okay but we will see y'all next video take it easy bye bye